What's up, YouTubers? It's your favorite future Facebook, Amazon, and Google software engineer. Today we are going over the Java deck problem on HackerRank. It's a medium problem, and we are starting right now. Okay, so we have Java deck. Uh, let me zoom out. So we're a deck is just a double-ended queue. You can insert from the front and insert to the back and take out and and back from the front and back. Um, so they just want us to use a deck interface to solve this problem basically. So we're given n integers. So this is n. This is saying how big the uh, list of integers is. And we need to find the maximum number of unique integers among all the possible contiguous subarrays of size m. So here's m. So it's saying find the max unique numbers in a contiguous subarray. Um, that has unique numbers. So the max would be three because you have three, five, two. Um, there's three unique numbers in this contiguous subarray of size three, and or it could be five, two, three, um, but not two, three, two. That's just two unique numbers, and five, three, five has two unique numbers. And contiguous means it's continuous. Just think continuous. You can't skip numbers. So here's all the possible contiguous subarrays. So how would we do this? Let's go to the whiteboard. Um, so here's the problem that they give us. Um, we're going to need to use a another data structure. Uh, so in this problem, I'm using an array. So we're going to want to loop through. Um, basically, insert. We're going to insert the the deck is here. So we're going to insert into the front uh, five, and we're going to. This is uh, the array is going to keep track of the number of numbers that we have. So this is saying how many fives we have in uh, the contiguous subarray, how many sixes, and so on. So we're going to just increment five by one, and we're going to see if it's unique. And it is unique. So we're going to increment this by one. And so we just did that one. And now let's add three to the front. So the front is just this way we're going to be inserting it like this uh, and we'll pop it off the back and so let's increment three by one and we can increment the current uniques by one as well um, so we did that and now let's do the next five so going to do this too this is not unique so we're just doing zero um, so so far we just have two and we're going to put this there and so now we need to pop this off the back. So we're going to decrement this. Um, and we're just going to keep going. So two, one. So this is actually, they're all unique. So we're going to get, uh, we need to create a max of three so far. And we're going to have a statement that says if, um, if current uniques is ever equal to uh, M, then we're just going to, uh, they want us to print out the max. We're not going to return the max. This is a void function. So we're just going to print out um, current uniques because we obviously can't have more uniques than the possible max, which is M. So um, let's just go through the rest of this problem real quick. So we're going to pop this off. We already know the answer is three because of this statement right here. And so next up is three. Um, I actually forgot to pop three off before, so this is zero, but now it's one. And so this is still three. Um, and then let's do two. So two, let's pop off five first. So this is two. So this is the current unique is only um, two right now. And that's basically it. So now we just need to convert that to code. So um, the first thing is we need to tell the program what type of fun uh, data type it, the deck is going to be containing. So let's add integer. And then we just need an array. I'll call it array. And, new, and, and then we need a size. So the size is up here. So. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven zeros. So I'll do six zeros and then a one just to make sure we're safe. 
Uh, <clears throat> and the max is going to be set to zero at first, and current uniques will be zero. Okay, so if i is greater than or equal to m, then we know we need to pop off um, int old. So this is going to be the old number. Like we're going to pop off from the back deck dot remove last. So now we're storing the last value into old. And if array old is greater than or equal to one, that we want to remove it, decrement it. If ray old equals zero, so if there's um, if it's no longer there, then we want to current unique minus minus that because it would just means um, that there's no longer a unique number. We're removing a unique number, and let me see. I feel like I'm missing something. Okay, I think that should be right. And okay, so down here we have it num equals in dot next. So uh, deck dot add first. And let's we want to increment the array num um, if the uh, there's no value at the array num, then we need to increment current uniques and we need to update the max between max and current uniques. Sorry, I went silent there. I was, I had to think about this. Um, and then we need to increment it. Um, also, if forgot the if this if statement, if um, current uniques ever equals m, then we know that's the max. We can't go higher than m. So system out. Uh, print ln current uniques and then let's just return to end of uh, function and let's see if I didn't forget anything so let's go into the debugging phase I feel like I forgot something Caps lock. <clears throat> oh, good work, cool. Um, let's make sure the test case is right. All right, I didn't forget anything. That was actually impressive because there's a little bit you have to remember. Um, so yeah, that's how that works. Hopefully that makes sense. So we're using a array to keep track of the amount of unique numbers we have and um, where then we just have to increment and decrement them, keep track of our current unique numbers, and update our max, and then just print it out. I hope that made sense. If this video helped you guys, smash that like button, and I'll see you in the next video. Yeah.